hello everyone this is manoj welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll discuss and talk about how we can integrate google pay payment method in our react js application so it is very easy to integrate google pay uh, payment method in react js and in this video i'll go through each and every step how you can set up and integrate your google pay account on your google pay website and how you can integrate those credentials into your react.js application so so far i have created a new react.js application if i go to browser so this is the default interface now go to your visual studio code first of all let's remove this header part we don't need this and in your terminal let me stop this first and we need to install a package which is at the rate google hyphen pay slash button hyphen react so this is the package we need to install it so the installation has been done if i go to package.json so here we can see google pay button react this is and the version of this 3.0.0 let me close the package.json now first of all we need to import react from react and now we need to import our google pay button so import google pay button from at the red google pay slash button hyphen react now inside our app let's use this google pay button and here we need to pass some configuration for this particular button so the first parameter is environment so we have two environments one is test and second one is production so as of now we are only using test so you can give test and then we have payment request so here we will give all the request parameters so first of all we have api version that is as of now 2 and we have api version minor that is 0 on that is on google pay documentation and after that we have allowed payment methods and that would be an array so the in the first object we have type and that is a type of card sorry typo mistake and now the parameters in the first parameter we will use the authentication methods so the first one is allowed auth methods and inside the array pen only so you don't need to worry about these steps you will find the all predefined steps on your google pay documentation now the second parameter is allowed card networks and these are the type of cards so in the first is mastercard and second one is visa so after parameters we have token token specification and in that object we have type 
that is payment gateway and after the payment gateway type we have parameters for this payment gateway so the first parameter is gateway so this is test environment so I'm giving example and gateway merchant ID is so you can give any merchant ID as of now because we are going to use our test environment but if you will use your production environment it means the live environment then you have to pass your exact gateway name and gateway merchant ID which you will get from the Google business play app I'll, I'll show you how you can generate your uh, gateway and gateway merchant ID so after this so now the second parameter is merchant info and here we will pass our merchant ID as we are using test environment so let's give any random ID and merchant name merchant name let's give demo merchant so this is our merchant info after that we will have our transaction info so transaction info and in that object total price status and give it final as you can see we are getting everything from the intelligence and now the total price label total and third one is total price so as of now I'm giving 10 but that amount will come from your front end like from website from app all right so this won't be a static value it should be a dynamic value and then currency code as of now I'm using USD but again based on your payment gateway or based on your requirement you can pass your dynamic country code all right and last one is country code as US so this is our transaction info now another parameter is shipping address required if you want to make it required then make it true otherwise make it false now we also have some callbacks so the callback indent here we can pass like payment authorization payment method payment address whatever you want but as of now we are only passing payment authorization so now comes to the event handlers so we for this we have on load payment data so for that payment request let's log console dot log what is the payment request we are getting once we initiate the payment so let's log this and after this on payment authorized let's say if we are trying to you know do some payment and after the successful authorization of this payment if you want to log something like user details or some you know response from the Google Pay API so you can also log that or you can also save that so here let's say payment data console dot log payment data and that's also written transaction state success so it means our payment has been done successfully all right so after that let's give existing payment method required make it false 
and we also have some button styling so button color let's say give black and we also have button type so give buy so let's save this let's quickly go through yeah there is no indent error so let's try to hit npm start and now we'll see our google pay button hopefully in the browser and we'll see how what information we are getting once we click on that google pay button so now we are on browser so it is loading now you can see the google pay button is already there and you can see my existing card because i have already used this so if i click on this button so it will open our google pay interface and here we will see all the logged in user accounts cards and the address so if you click on this so if you want to log in with any another so if i click on this so now i need to enter the credentials of this particular account and then all the card details whatever i need to put in so if i go back if i can click on this let's open developer tools first and go to console clear it and if i click on pay so it will log something you can see we have a complete object so if i expand the payment methods you can see my card number is there last four digits and the card type is visa and if i expand this info and tokenizing data and if you see the shipping method so i have already given this shipping method so that is why it is coming inside this request so you can see how easy it is to integrate google pay in your react js application the only thing is if you want to make it live then you need to change it to your production environment now let me also show you the npm package for this from where you can get the reference so go to your package.json and if i copy this so we have this npm package for this so you can refer this one also and now let me also show you how you can generate your google pay merchant id and merchant name so here i have captured some screenshot just for your reference so once you open your google play app then you need to find this google pay for business once you open and install this application then it will come like this you need to open that app and then you need to log in with your google, uh, gmail email id and once you logged in then you need to click on this first button because we are going to set up a business and after that by default it, it will show you these categories but if you want you can browse all the categories and after that you need to select your particular category and then you need to select your area here you need to point your business address on your map once you do that after that you need to give your business location your pin number shop number whatever fields it will require you need to fill those and then you need to verify your mobile number after that you need to upload your pan card photo and gst number is optional if you have it's good if you don't have there is no worry and once you upload your pan card then it will give you a merchant name based on your business name and your merchant id those you need to put in here in your merchant info here and also you need to change your environment to production so see how easy it is to integrate your google pay in your react js application
so this is about today's video i hope you like it if you did so hit the like button share comment and if you are looking for your project assignments or your college assignments kind of services then you please contact me uh, you can contact me on my instagram you can also send me your email you can find my contact details in my channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye